Bruh. I know you got a truck, but you're low as bro. You can't be doing that. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Tires. God damn. Audi. Damn. What the hell? Y'all couldn't let me get out the way first? Jeez. God damn. Wait a minute. Yo. What are you doing? <laughs> Andy's going. All right. I think, uh, I think somebody just lost their, their, uh, somebody just went deviant, bruh. <laughs> We're finally playing. Uh, if you watched the last video, I think I'm going to be posting this after the last video. Um, so yeah, if you watched the last video, we attempted to play this demo. We ended up playing the original Test Drive Unlimited. Um, I guess the old version. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, but yeah, man, we're finally playing the we're finally playing Solar Crown uh, demo. Uh, hopefully, I haven't even started yet. Um, so yeah, uh, please do me a favor and hit the like button if you see this demo because um, I've really been trying. It's been three days now. I've been trying to get everything to work. I've uninstalled, reinstalled, verified. Uh, they had an update, so maybe the update was what fixed it. Um, but yeah, man, uh, I'm excited to finally be playing. I've been not watching anybody's videos. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully we get we get good things from this demo because boy, this took a lot of lot to get into. Um, let's get started, man. If you're new here, subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more, you know what to do. All right, let's get let's get into it before I get kicked out. All right, transition. Okay then, it's working. Kind of quiet. We haven't gotten in the wheel yet, so let's see. Ah, good, perfect timing. What do you think of the dealership? As part of the competition, we have made many places like this one available across the island. We want to ensure our participants have access to the best cars possible. However, you won't be able deals. to drive some of these cars until you've gained enough reputation. Oh, I the see a 370. has the means to match its You already know what I'm thinking. And as it happens, here are the first three cars available to start the competition. Take your pick. Mm -hmm. The Solar Crown would like to credit your account with your first solar coins. What's that? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. As for me, I, I must leave you for the time being, but I imagine we'll have the pleasure of speaking again. In the meantime, you can now compete against other members of the Solar Crown. Good luck. Mm hmm. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Hopefully, there's character creation because I'm not white. <laughs> I'm a suburban. <laughs> I'm a suburban dude. So this is a weird dealership, bro. They got a Ford Mustang, 370Z, and then they got what is this? Who even is this? Alpine. What the fuck is this? Pine. What the hell is this? Aston Martin. Damn, it's so quiet. Oh, R35. Reputation level 30. Great. A million dollars. One million doll hairs. And it's a 2009. Move. G Wagon, G Wagon. Of course, I got a G Wagon. This is everybody's favorite tax write off. Corvette. What a bit, what a bit. All right, if you're it, let's not get sure which car to choose, try it out first. Sure. That's what the test drive is for. Gucci on that one. All right, welcome to Solar Crown. The Solar Crown is back for this new edition uh Hong Kong. No way. Oh. 
Oh, Chad, I thought I was getting kicked. I, oh, man, I thought I was getting kicked. It's just it's just the online portion. I'm cool now. I think. This is when you fully enter the tournament. You can now take part in the first races of the Solar Crown. Uh -huh. Your car is already eligible for the races. Okay. All you need to do is go to the starting locations. All right. Thank you, Alice. All the races are grouped together around meeting points, which makes it easier for you to meet other participants. Thanks. Do well in these races to start making a name for yourself. I have updated my firmware. I have also connected you to my other users, if that's of interest to you. No. They have just finished the selection. <laughs> I'm anti-socialist. You can finally meet them. Y'all actually just kicked me from the lobby, so I don't even know if that works. Um, select. All right. Um, okay. I like the way this map looks. But yeah, like I was saying in the first video, I don't really play demos. Um, but like my main, the main reason why I'm interested in this game. Let me just let me just talk. It okay, the wheels working. Very ooh, stiff. shift his work okay so yeah like uh i have updated your access rights to the onboarding equipment you can now right. turn on your lights lower your windows and choose i don't know why i just chose to go i knew that i knew that i was going in the wrong direction um but yeah the uh main reason i'm interested in this game is that it's classified as an mmo and so it's supposed to be like it's supposed to take you like a long time to to improve you know a long time to get to some of the best things in the game which is happening um and, and that interests me you know i'm hoping that it's better than forza i'm hoping that it's better than the crew as far as like keeping my interests and also beautiful city cars like it, it's this is kind of like a car guy's dream but yeah man i'm, I'm hoping the i mean the car sounds great already it feels good for it being a demo the driving feels pretty pretty reactive okay it I can shift up normally, but it isn't automatic, so it shifts on its own. So I'm gonna just, I guess, chill out. I okay. I I'm really hoping Is that a speed camera. What is up with me and always getting speed cameras, bro? I'm always I'm always speed in games. I'm only speeding in games. Uh, fuck, I'm, I'm so scatterbrained, bro. I, don't, I forgot what I was saying. I had to try it. I had to try it. I'm on stock tires. God damn. Howdy. Damn! What the hell? Y'all couldn't let me get out the way first? Jeez, disrespectful. My man turned and said, you know what, bruh? You deserve this. Uh, you know what, bruh? Don't don't let me I'm cutting up now. <laughs> Why does everybody sound like they're 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 taking off at the light? Uh I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm, Kind of enjoying myself right now. Just like the driving feels really good, you know. Oh, you thought I wasn't coming for revenge, bro? That wasn't. You, you, have you heard of me? I bet not ever see you in BMG, boy. You be cut. And I beat you. Oh, he's my stiff. Why is my first? Oh, hold on. I'm kind of driving. Run that light. Hold on, I, why am I? I just started the game and I'm already beefing. Your reputation. Congratulations. 
Your Pull reputation over. <laughs> is extremely important in the solar crowd. I'm undercover. Pull over. It's what makes you a legend. The more you take part in events around the island, the more attention you'll receive. And with more reputation, you'll gain access to races that's, and cars. That's, that are uh, that's all cool and dandy, Vivian, but I'm 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 dealing with some shit right now. You too, at least I, I I'm I'm gonna need y'all to call me back. <laughs> Bro, these cars are stiff. Alright. Reputation 5. Oh, I swear, if I reach Reputation 15 just for running people over and I can't play the demo anymore, I'm gonna be pissed! This is definitely not the right thing. I... I am liking the way this feels. Why does it, this feels so good driving? And on top of that, brand new city. I don't think anybody's done a Hong Kong based uh, driving game. Um, <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Apparently this, this map is also like, it's not solely based off Hong Kong. I mean, it's based off Hong Kong, but it's not like an exact cop. It's like a one of one. It's like a one of one version of Hong Kong, I guess. So I'm not sure if like there are actual roads and landmarks in this game, but you know, that doesn't really matter to me. I don't live in Hong Kong, so I wouldn't recognize anything. But one thing I really do want to test is how long it takes to drive around the map. So let's do that real quick. Yeah, this, um, I mean, this video is not really, it's really just me testing out the game and, and getting a feel for everything. The map. Um, cause the, cause the one thing that I don't want to do, cause if I, if I, this is going to be the deciding factor, really. How long is it going to take me to get from the middle of the map? Not even the middle, a little further than the middle. Two thirds, I guess a third in the map. And this is just one half of the map, too. So how long is it going to take me to get all the way over there? And then if that takes too long, not too long, but if that takes a long time, I'm going to enjoy this game. I'll be honest. And then we're going to test out like some other stuff like challenges. What do we have? British performance. Uh, road control. So speed trap. Workshop. It's another speed trap. Like, I want to do some races. Oh, this is a real person. Okay. Uh, what is this? Okay. This is a time attack. And that's a race. So we got a couple races we can do right now. I ain't worried about that just yet. I need to I need to see what this map is hitting with. You feel me? Continue straight ahead. Cause this this will be my deciding factor is will I enjoy the drive around the map? One thing I do want to know is how this manual cars feel too. I don't know if the Mustang is manual. I didn't look. I should probably start a timer. Hold on. In real time is 352. Alright, so we're going to try and drive as fast as possible without really crashing as well. Let's see if we can see how long it takes us. But I mean, so far. Just had beef with a blue Audi. Now it's a gray one. I love Audis too. But I guess in this game, I've got beef with them. Turn right. One thing I will say. I like the way this. I like the way this uh, GPS looks. Oh, 
this this oh this road is so nice. I'm not even gonna lie, so far so far I'm liking what I'm seeing. So far I'm liking what I'm seeing. Cause yeah Cause like I'm mentally I'm mentally comparing this game to like the for, uh the crew of <laughs> the Forza. I'm mentally comparing this game to like Forza and the crew. Um, because those are like the larger map map games with lots of cars and customizations and races and stuff like that. Um, one thing I'm liking so far is there is a lot of there's a lot of NPCs on the road. I think for Hong Kong, there's let there there should be more. But you also got to think about the integrity of the game. You don't want to, you don't want to break the game with too much traffic, which is understandable. But so far, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a. Okay, you definitely going the wrong way. It's a taxi driver though. They do whatever they want. But yeah, so far, like like that. There's there's been cars everywhere. It's been ah! <laughs> um it does kind of look like they they all drive uh they're all on tracks though you know they all have their own set parameters um i don't think they stop i don't think they stop you know for you know if i cut this one off i don't think they're gonna stop like I would in real life. In 800 meters, turn right. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm really loving this car. <laughs> I'm really liking the way this car is driving. In 400 meters, turn right. And if you know me, you know that the 370Z is my meters, dream car. Right. One of my turn dream right. cars. I've got one. Turn right? What do you mean turn right? Is this? Oh, I guess, I guess it's, it's Hong Kong, so it's going to be different. Yeah, bro. I've I've been I've been wanting to try this game for so long. I mean, I know we've all been waiting for this game ever since it was announced. We've all been waiting for some sort of release date, which we finally have one, September 14th, I think it said, or 12th. I can't remember. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Uh, do you want to try again? Uh, yes. Jesus. Okay. Um, one thing we don't need is that <laughs> I would like to not have a pop up while I'm driving and then not pause the game. I get that it's in. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? All right. It might be something like in Forza, the crew where you have like secrets you can find. Um, yeah, I, it's an always online game, I'm assuming. But the last thing I want is a large ass pop up on my screen while I'm driving. So I would definitely recommend not having that. Oh, some good shifting there. I'm not shifting, I'm using the automatic feature, you know what I'm saying? Liking the way it sounds, I can't wait to see like modded, modded uh, cars. Uh, I can't wait to see like what mods I can put in cars. Like, I'm hoping it goes in depth, but also I'm not too familiar with the test drive unlimited series. Like the last video was our first time playing the uh, original test drive unlimited. I'm a controller was falling and I had to catch it. Uh shit. shit. Continue straight ahead. What task like? I guess that was a good way to check the map, even though I didn't really look. It's only been it's been what six minutes roughly. In one kilometer, take the fourth exit. What's that? 
that as we can. The Solar Crown wishes to inform you that a new bulletin is incoming. That's cool. What the fuck? I, I don't like that. You're ruining my immersion. Workshops open. Okay, I don't I don't need this. What's going on? That looks cool. This is great. Skip. I mean I guess we should wa watch it, but these are these are the workshops. That's cool. That's cool. Um. This means you can't enter the. You need to go to the workshop to make these modifications. Here. I have marked it on your map. <laughs> okay. It will help if I teach you how to upgrade your car. I don't care. I have marked the workshop <laughs> on your map. No, I don't want Let's to. Go there and get our hands dirty. No. Get me out. Oh. Well, shut up. Oh my god. I don't want to fast travel. No. Delete. God, I'm being forced. Okay. Uh, that's upsetting. All right. Well, change the plans, chat. We, we have to fast travel because it's part of the tutorial, I guess. I'm hoping that doesn't happen often because that really just ruined my immersion. Oh man, I don't like that. I'll be honest. I don't like that it it kicked me out of I <laughs> it kicked me out of my immersion, man, and forced me over here. I don't want to be over here right now. And on top of that, it brings me way closer to <laughs> my destination. So our welcome to the workshop. Here you can buy and ins but first. All right. Well, let's let's check the out the workshop. Part increases the car's performance rating or PR with okay. the workshop inter Thank you. Um responsive I got 83,000. This is for a turbo. Uh, I have to do it. Yeah, it, it's forcing me to do it, chat. So let's just go ahead and do it. Level 10. How the hell was I able to upgrade a turbo before it exhausts? Oh, these are free? Some I can get roto forms for free? Hell yeah. Thirty thousand for a paint? Please don't kick me out of out of my driving immersion again. <laughs> I I would I would definitely like to not get kicked out of my immersion. Congratulations on your first upgrade. Don't forget, if you want better parts to become available, you need to increase your reputation. All right, chat. We're gonna attempt to drive to the other side of the map, which I kind of feel like once I get over here, it's gonna unlock unlock some other shit. Maybe, um, but let's try and drive all the way over here. What does that say? 10.2 miles. 10.2 miles. Let's see how long it takes us to get from the Chai Wan workshop. Hopefully we don't get kicked out of our immersion again. <laughs> all right, chat. It's 4.08 right now. I just put a turbo in a stock 370Z. That's not good. Oh, it's not shifting on its own. Anymore. Wait. 
my Mac fused. It wasn't shifting and then it started shifting on its own. I don't know. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or if it's a bug or whatever, but. That boost. What the fuck? <laughs> um, shifting is very late. Shifting, the automatic shifting is very weird. I would like to turn off automatic shifting, though. If that's the thing. When we get over here, after our little road trip, I'm going to see if I can turn that off. Because I don't want to get kicked out of my ambush. <laughs> I'm not trying to nitpick the game. I know it's a demo. Um, and more than likely, more than likely, that was kind of like part of the process of it being the beginning of the game anyways oh the shifting is so weird um but yeah most likely that was part of the my bad bro my bad um that might be part of the process of me being new to the game and it's probably just still on the tutorial side but i don't like that it basically kicks you out of what you're doing immediately you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm hoping that doesn't happen too often. Because that, that, that kind of... <laughs> that kind of kills my mood. It's like when... Alright, that car just vanished. It's like when you're driving... You're driving on a wreck nearby. Interesting. Um, it's like when you're driving... Uh, you're doing like a little long road trip or whatever and you got your GPS on right but you're on the highway the music is blasting you know and you finally have to take a turn somewhere and your GPS interrupts you on a good ass part of the, part of your song right that's that's how that's how that felt got kicked out of my song. I was about to hit the highest note possible. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, bro. But yeah, um, we're kind of moving. So we've covered five miles so far in about three or four minutes. Wait, what time did I say? What, did I say 408? So yeah, it's been about three minutes. Cover five miles so from one side to the other side of the map it might take us maybe 10 minutes which isn't too bad a minute per mile isn't too bad the shifting is bugging me though <laughs> I don't know what is, what is up with it I promise y'all I'm not like hitting, y'all can, can see me not hitting paddles. You see that? It like was in fifth and then kicked to, even though I'm accelerating, it kicked down to fourth. It did it again. I'm going 120 20 miles plus an hour in fourth and it's redlining. 140 in fifth. Fourth at ninety. It should be going in the fifth. It should be in fifth right now. Automatic. I had to slow down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely need a manual so that I can have full control. Cause. I mean, this right here is kind of, it's kind of like, it's kind of like telling me that I need a manual, you know? I don't like my car doing, doing its own thing. One mile ago, 
a mile to go. Not even 10 minutes. But I will say, turn right. Woo. In 400 <laughs> meters, turn right. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. God damn! Wait a minute. Yo! What are you doing? <laughs> and he's going. All right, I think uh, I think somebody just lost their their uh, somebody just went deviant, bruh. <laughs> oh man, if you get that reference, Detroit become okay. All right, fucking taxi driver had no reason. Okay, all right, so we've arrived. Four fourteen. 414 so it's literally six minutes six minutes of driving which to be honest not that bad for it being only half of the map uh you know you know what i should compare it to i should compare it to like gta 5 and i i think as far as gta 5 goes going from like the city to to sandy shores would probably take you about five ten five to ten minutes roughly i don't really remember how to how long it takes but i feel like it takes about that that long but i'll be honest with the wheel working Apart from the shifting issues with the automatic, I did enjoy driving over here, you know? And I think that's really all. Oh, is that a Urus? Or was that a Porsche? Is that a Urus or a Porsche? A Urus? Is that a Lambo or a Porsche? Um, I didn't enjoy the drive, to be honest. The car feels good, minus the shifting. Oh, you know what? Let me uh, let me find a place to pull over. Damn, range? Oh, you want to get over here? Well, I'm sorry. Why does this truck look lowered? And why are you taking off? What the fuck? All right. You know, I've heard that Hong Kong is pretty haunted, so we might just got ghost cars over here. Let me pull over. Heard my shit real quick. I'm not low yet, so. Should be good. Automatic clutch. So I turned that off. Thinking that I'd be in the manual, which I'm not. I don't I don't see anything about automatic shifting. My handbrake should be on too. Oops, there we go. Got no brakes. gas wait do I actually have to buy gas where's my I was looking for like my gas gauge I don't really see one uh hold to clean or repair your car hold to change vehicle okay so there's no buying gas it's just just a car repair service which is pretty dope Honestly, would like to see gas be a thing to buy. <laughs> Hit that wall kind of hard. Yeah, I mentioned this in the last video. My biggest fear, my biggest fear with a game like this is losing interest pretty quickly, you know? So, 
a way for me to not lose interest is to one be able to drive around in the map just feel like I want it to be as realistic as possible you know what I'm saying as far as driving goes and then oh my god the ship when it when it comes to like uh like races and challenges and stuff like that I don't want any of that to be um I don't want it to feel like I'm doing the same shit over and over and over again just to make a couple dollars, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if it's supposed to take you 200 hours to get to, to get to like a lot of the high level cars in this game, I want to enjoy all 200 hours. Got those cars again. You know, I, I want to be able to say that I can enjoy 200 hours of gameplay in this and like a good example, right? A good example would be a game like Skyrim, right? I've played Skyrim a good, like from start to finish, I've played Skyrim a good like 10 or 10 or 15 times. I've beaten the game. Um, and I would say about 10 of those, 10 of those 15 times, I've gone around the map doing like all the side quests or not all the side quests, but like majority of the t of the times that I'd play the game to completion I'm not just doing the story I'm doing all side quests and secret shit and all that stuff it's one of those games where like I don't want to go look over here it's one of those games where I can like it has a lot of replay value um a game like Red Dead right I could play Red Dead multiple times uh and enjoy it every time because of like the secret shit that happened know but it has a lot of replay value um i don't want to you know feel like there's nothing new happening in this game which is one thing i feel like car specific games fail fail to do is have variety you know especially when you've got so many options now you got the forzas you've got the cruise you've got even need for speed if you want to count that um, where, where the option is literally do a race, get reputation, get money, upgrade your car, do a harder race, get money, get reputation, beat a boss, and then do it all over again. You know, it's, that shit kind of gets boring and it makes it hard to like keep playing a game, you know? So I'm hoping they do it right. In this game, hoping they do it right to where it actually is not obeying any any traffic laws. But you know what? This could actually backfire too, where it might take you 200 hours to get to the best cars in the game because. You know, you might win like pennies in each race to in, in comparison to like other games, you know, like, for example, if I if I go race somebody um, and I only get like a thousand dollars, but the next car that I can get is a hundred thousand, right? That means I now have to 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 win this race a hundred times you know to get this one car which is not a good it's not a good way to make this game playable <laughs> you know i gotta do the same race over and over and over again to to get to like a gtr you know i, I don't want to do that you know um so yeah i'm hoping that they have figured out a way to make this game Feel like a new game each time I pick it up. I think that would be cool if you could get out your car and just walk around the city. You know, I think that would be cool. But it isn't a walking game; it's a driving game, so I can see why they wouldn't want to do that. Um. 
I'm gonna have to do some mods or some shit. Alright, Mustang. And he's going. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's go check out some challenges. I honestly didn't even know where I was at. Authorized. What what I just do? Yeah, I'm gonna definitely need a character customization, bro. Cause I don't have a pony. Or do I have blonde hair? And I know I'm light skin. Come on, man. Sun's been hitting a lot at work. <laughs> oh, I didn't explain the Hawaiian shirt. If you saw the last video. Our first attempt at playing this game. Host has quit the game. Who the fuck is the host? Oh. I hope that that means that I can't do that. That, that sucks. So, let's try that again. I'm assuming that it's an online only race and I can't race against AI apparently. Which is another thing I kind of hate. Lobby error. This is one of the bad things about online only games, bro. Because this isn't an internet issue, this is a server issue with it being a demo. That's cool. Race preparation. So yeah, if you saw the last video, I wore the Hawaiian shirt because I was prepared to make a joke that, you know, I was I was on my way to Hawaii, um, but I ended up on the wrong plane and I landed in Hong Kong. And so I was prepared for the beach, but I landed in, in Hong Kong city, in the city of Hong Kong whatever the city's called here <laughs> um so yeah if you don't get it the the test drive unlimited game the original one is set in hawaii and this one's set in hong kong listen i yapped about it in the first video the goal. connection error with race so you will return to all right, so see, that's that's annoying. That's annoying. If I can't play a race even with AI, hold on, open filters. So like even in Forza, or maybe it was the crew. One of those games, no, it was Need for Speed. So Need for Speed had it to where you can play offline or online. So you can literally just turn off the online setting if you want to. And you can still do everything that you would be able to do in the online setting. I don't know if Forza had it or the crew had it. But that's kind of annoying. That if, if I'm relying on server status... To be able to race at any point in time I might be able to do this time trial but if I can do the time trial Turn if right. I can't do the time trial then that, that really sucks okay we got a player coming up alright and he just runs right into me going the wrong way sir Solar Hotel meeting point. Right. All right. Hopefully, I can do this. If it's a time attack, I shouldn't need anybody to be here. I'm trying to really get a feel. Let's see, I shouldn't have an issue with racing if. There's a server issue, you know? 
there's got to be an offline setting. There has to be an offline setting. Because that means if you have shit internet, you can't play this game either. What the hell? Man, it's cutting up. Doing the takeover on the highway. Happy Valley. New district un un discovered. Damn, what you break for? Oh, hold on now. Why are you low? <laughs> Why is this truck so low? Like, I like a slam truck, but damn. I, I, look how low it is. Why are you lower than me? You're lower than the Range Rover. All right. You know, for Hong Kong, there's a lot of uh, non. I would love to be able to just do like an impromptu race for the NPC. thing all right can't go this way I wonder if I'm in the opposing lane yep right no <laughs> I'm swimming in reverse what was that is that a sweet camera cash in what does that mean Oh! Oh! Shit! Oh, shit. I am so sorry. You know what? This might be an unpopular opinion. I think this game is meant for you to have a steering wheel. Because... And I'm not trying to, like, exclude people out of playing this game if you have a controller only then fucking play the game controller only. but um this game feels like it's meant for you to have a steering wheel because if i was just playing with controller it would just feel like the crew or forza or need for speed it wouldn't feel like it wouldn't feel like anything crazy as far as driving goes but having a wheel really does change your experience. And even though I don't have a manual, I do still feel a lot more immersion with driving with a steering wheel. So I, if you can, I would 100% recommend trying it with this with a steering wheel. And maybe I'm just too picky. I'm trying to think of what else we can do. Um, as we can't do any races right now. I kind of want to see what that solar hotel is. How much money we got? 70,000? Because if I can't do any races, then how, how am I getting money apart from like these speed traps and shit, you know? It's kind of, it's kind of bugging me six times why are you so slammed <laughs> that really does suck that i can't do any races right now because it's like it's 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 kind of like my last deciding factor of when if i'm gonna enjoy the game is seeing how the races are so like let's looking at this 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 uh it's a six point oh that's 6.2 miles away but it's a point to point right yeah, it's a sprint. So judging based off the, the track line, it does look like it would be an interesting race. This one is a point to point. It goes pretty far around. $18,000 is what you can get, which is a good amount of money. 18000 which is a good amount of money going towards buying a new car. How much are these early on? 18000 Okay. So these races are paying out a very high amount of money, in my opinion. I'm wondering if there's like any off-roading involved too. Like, I know there's mountains, but these kind of look like toges. 
Oh, look, look how much the speed traps pay. Five grand for, for one star, 15 for two, 30 for three. So yeah, it looks like money probably won't be an issue. Like getting getting money probably won't be an issue. That's one of the things that I would hate is if if doing things paid out little to nothing, you know. But it really does suck that I can't do any any races. Cause right now it looks like <laughs> looks like the only way that I'm gonna get any money is through speed traps if these races don't work. The only way my reputation is gonna come up is by exploring the map, it seems. Or doing like right. those stat left. challenges. You have arrived. Let's try it again. I'm sure it's is I'm sure it's a demo thing though. Which demos are meant to to iron out these types of kinks. But if Man, oh man, if I pay full price for this game and I'm having the same issues, I'm probably going to refund immediately. So we can't do any races. I'm basically trying to see if I can sell my car. Oh my god, Chad. It's right here in driving assist. Shut up. Semi-automatic. Main. And it is just like Forza. You, 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 the harder your settings are, the more money you get. Or experience, experience and money. Hey, let me see. Let me see. Let me make sure. Red line of death. Red line of death. Ooh, red line of death. Red line of death. Thank you. Thank you, Discovery. And I ain't talking about the bank. Yeah. All right, now it's time to really have some fun. All right, chat, new video. <laughs> now nah, I'm, uh, I'm probably in the video soon. It's gonna be a pretty long video though. It's gonna be a pretty long video, but now that we've figured that out should be able to enjoy the drive a little bit more this is definitely way better not hearing it shift on its own it's so much better Fiat. <laughs> you know, I don't own a car that has paddle shifters in real life. I'm curious, y'all. To those that own paddle shifter shifting cars, that you. You traction. Um, how the fuck do y'all shift? When you're turning your wheel, I know you're not supposed to shift in a turn. I get that. Um, you know what? I feel like I'm asking a dumb question. I feel like I'm asking a dumb question, and I'm just not gonna ask it. <laughs> All right, chat. I think I think we're gonna end the video here. I think we're gonna end the video here. Unfortunately, I can't do any races, which is one of the biggest downfalls when it comes to like an online only game. Um, unless there is a setting to turn online off where I can play offline. Um, that would be great. Uh, why are you telling me hazards? On? But yeah, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they either fix that to where you can race with AI or 
maybe it's just a demo servers thing, you know, and where the servers don't really work that well because it's the demo. Or maybe there's just a lot of people. Or, I don't know, bro. Hopefully that gets fixed, man. Um, what are my thoughts on this demo? What are my thoughts on Solar Crown? I I'm still excited for the full release. I'm still excited for the full release. Mainly because it's a new driving game. Um, will I buy it? Well, I was going to pre-order it if I liked the game enough. I was going to pre-order it. But I don't think I'm going to pre-order just yet. I think I'm just going to wait until September. Um, I, I'm not one of those people that really cares about the extras you get when you pre-order a game. I don't really care about that. I just want a game that works. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna wait until the game releases, and I'm probably gonna watch some videos on it before I make the purchase. Because if you know me, man, I don't like buying games at full price. I usually wait for a sale. But the game has to be worth it to, for me to buy it at full price, bro. Um, as far as this demo goes, there's definitely a lot of things, I, as you can see, the disappearing cars. It's, I'm sure that a lot of these things are gonna get fixed sure this right here like right on cue but i can't even move because of the pop-ups there you know i'm sure stuff like that is gonna get fixed um one thing i really hope they don't have is a bunch of moments where something gets unlocked and the game decides to kick you out of whatever you're doing um to force you to fast travel to said location um I'm hoping that was like a one-time thing, you know, it just showing me what to do. But to be fair, the best way to do that is, okay, if I'm driving around in the map and I make it to a gas station and you want to tell me about how gas stations work, tell me when I get to the gas station and not when I'm like just driving on the road. Not when I'm just driving on the road and you know, you want to tell me, hey, this is how gas stations work. It's like, tell me at the gas station. But, you know, hopefully that, that gets fixed or tweaked or whatever they have to do. Um, as far as driving goes, I like the way the car, um, I've only tried one car. Um, I couldn't really figure out which dealership I needed to go to to get to the Mustang because I was going to. I was gonna try and see if I could sell this car and get the Mustang. I probably should just test drove. It's whatever, I don't care. Um, bruh, I know you got a truck, but you're low as fuck, bro. You can't be doing that. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, AI's got a mind of their own, bruh. Look at this shit. <laughs> I can't even see because my head's in the way. It's probably going to disappear in a second. Alright, this is a different type of AI, bro. This intro, this outro is a little... Excuse me. Alright, bro. <laughs> this, this, uh, this AI is, is, is interesting. It's something that will probably get fixed, too. Because uh, that was an interesting road rage incident that just happened um as far as driving goes i like the way the car feels on the road i like how the wheel feels um i do know that a lot of people were having issues connecting their wheels and getting their settings to work or their their buttons to, to map um i'm sure that'll get fixed and i'm sure those of y'all that have like higher end shits like Boza. I'm sure th those get uh, configured better, you know. But I do like the way it feels driving in this game. Um, it definitely feels like a game you need a wheel to have to enjoy the driving. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. You should just go out and buy a wheel, you know. But if you have a wheel, I definitely recommend using it. Um, city life 
I like the city life. Um, as far as maps go, the map seems like it's a decent size. Um, like I said before, it took us, what, eight minutes to do about 10 miles in the game, which isn't too bad. There's like eight or six minutes to do about 10 miles in the game um, in a in a stock 370Z at that point, too. Um, so take that information as you will. Uh, but yeah, the map is a pretty decent size, but I do like how the city feels. It feels like a real city. There's a lot of traffic cars. Um, there's a lot of like parked cars. If I could walk around that, I think that'd be cool too, if I could walk around the city, but it is a driving game. So I'm not like saying, Hey, at a walking mode. Um, uh, I did get to test out races. That's that's the only thing I would love to test out the races. That, like I said, that's a big, big deciding factor. Um, if the races are interesting and I enjoy doing them and grinding this game. Like I said, bro, apparently you're supposed to put hours into this game to unlock shit, you know? Which, if I'm gonna put 200 hours, I wanna enjoy every 200 hours. I wanna enjoy every hour I put in, you know what I'm saying? But all in all, I'm not like, I'm not like Anthony Fantano. I'm not about to put a rating on this. Um, I'm just stating what I, what I like and what I hope gets fixed. Um, but yeah, if anything, if anything changes, if there's anything patched uh, and I can start racing, uh, I'll probably give this another try. But other than that, man, I'll see y'all in September. Um, as far as like test driving goes, I'll see this game in September. Um, hopefully they release well, man. Um, but with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this demo session. Um, it's not sponsored or anything like that. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you stick around for this long ass outro. If you did, I really appreciate it. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe if you're new. If you uh, want, you hit the like button, you can comment, whatever you feel like. Um, but yeah, man, that's it for me. I will see y'all soon. We have a video posting rather uh, shortly after this. This one is being posted earlier because we finally was able to. <laughs> All right, I'm yapping. I'm done yapping. Peace out, y'all. Bye.